Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from Carwow. I've got a massive grin on my face because I've got an awesome drag race today. It's a real sense of occasion because I'm in a car I've never driven in my life before. It's a Mercedes McLaren SLR and I'm going to be racing it against a Ferrari GT4C Lusso and an Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. So this has a 5.4 litre supercharged V8 with 630 horsepower and 780 newton metres of torque. It drives the rear wheels only via a five-speed torque converter automatic gearbox. It's not so high tech, is it? Weight-wise, this car comes in at 1,750 kilos. When this was new, it was about 350 grand. This one's worth about 250 grand. That Ferrari has a 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12 with 690 horsepower and 697 newton metres of torque. Talk. It drives all four wheels via a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. Though the car becomes two-wheel drive, I think it's in fourth gear or something for some reason, Ferrari reasons. It weighs in at 1,900 kilos and costs 240,000 pounds when new. That Aston Martin DVS Superleggera has a 5.2 litre twin turbo V12 with 725 horsepower and 900 newton metres of torque. It has an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox, no launch control, and it's rear wheel drive only. It weighs in at 1700 kilos and cost 225 grand, though that one is owned by a chap called Phil Dixon, who runs the YouTube channel More Than Cars, so go check that out. He paid almost 300 grand for that one because it's got lots of extras on it. Now, before we race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notification on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. If you want to follow the guys who've lent us all three cars, just look in the description. You can see their Instagram accounts there and go follow them and find out more about their cars. If you'd like me to review your car or drag race it, then just email reviewmycar at carway.co.uk and we'll set something up. Finally, check out the t-shirt. Like it? Drag queen. If you like this design or you want something similar, check out our merch. It's in the carousel below. In fact, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can go to our store and see what different kind of t-shirt designs we've got there. As ever with the car wide drag race, before we actually race the cars, let's do a sand comparison test. You can feel the whole car vibrating with the inertia of the engine. Let's hear that naturally aspirated V12 from the Ferrari though. Go on, rev up the Ferrari. That sounds like an old school Formula One car. It's got an aftermarket exhaust on it that has, which helps the noise. Okay, can we have a listen to the Aston Martin, please? Which car do you think sounded the best? Let us know in the comments below. Now, as this Mercedes McLaren and the DBS are both rear wheel drive, we do need to warm up the tires, which means skids. <laughs> You might want to save some of the race. Bogged a bit off the start. Come on, hold it straight. Oh, the gear change is funny. That Ferrari's off and it's wars between me and the Aston. But now it's not at all. It's between the Aston and the Ferrari. So Ferrari, you did all right there. You got a good launch. Absolutely, this thing shot off the line. But what happened? Aston, did he manage to get past him? I don't actually know where the end is, so I don't know. I'm hoping so. Is that why you kept going at full pelt? It was like you were doing a standing half mile rather than a standing quarter. It's better to keep going than lose. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll do another run. And I'm gonna try it with the traction control off because I'm feeling a bit braver. <laughs> Okay, what happened, Aston? I think I must have been half asleep that time, but uh, I was much slower off the line. Right, let's just do it one more time, come on, because I caught mine up totally. <laughs> that was better. Beat the Aston. 
Can he pull it back? I don't think he's gonna. <laughs> and I was quite close on the Ferrari. What happened with the Ferrari? I wasn't that far behind you. Not at all. I definitely got out ahead, but then that supercharged McLaren Mercedes reeled me in. I'm really surprised. What happened with you, Phil, in your Aston? <laughs> you got spanked. I got off the line, okay. And to be fair, it was catching. So then, what exactly happened? <laughs> Well, the Ferrari did the standing quarter mile in 11.5 seconds. The McLaren Mercedes took 11.7 seconds, while the Aston Martin did the quarter mile in 11.8 seconds. OK, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars in comfort mode, automatic for the gearboxes. This one's speedos in kilometres an hour, so I'm going to have to get to 80. It's about 50, so here we go. Three, two, one, go! Come on, kick down. That kick down, good. Whoa! Supercharged! V8 is wicked! Whoa, this is fast! That Aston is going though. I think this has hit a limiter. Your last Ferrari, by the way, I hit a limiter at 230 kilometers an hour. Ferrari, you got dropped. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is about this dual clutch gearbox. We've had trouble with it before, but at least it went down into third this time, so it wasn't too far behind you all. Basically though, when that drops down, it depends where you are in the power band, and you've just not got as much torque as these cars. I've got more torque than you, and that Aston certainly has, and that's why it just pulled so hard. I think I took off first though, didn't I, Phil? Take the lead just a little bit. Once that gets going, it just buggers off, doesn't it? So once again, I'm going to do it from 80 kilometres an hour. Third gear, sports mode. Three, two, one, go. Oh, pull harder. What happened? It's because I got five speeds and third gear is clearly really, really long. It feels like I'm in like fifth. kilometers an hour in third gear i think i need to be in second gear guys my third gear is so long i need to do it in second gear but you guys have to be in third because i say so okay <laughs> well i'm going to count it in three two one go oh god the gear change is rubbish but the pickup is epic i'm gonna have that ferrari oh the gear change is shocking And it's doing that thing again where the supercharger's disengaged or I've hit the limit, I don't know. It's temperamental, this, but when it's working, it's plumbing quick. Okay, guys, I imagine that the Aston went and beat the Ferrari. You would be correct. <laughs> okay, let's do a brake test then. Okay, brake test from 70 miles an hour, though I can't see 70 miles an hour, so we'll have to do it from 130 kilometers an hour. Right, what do I do with this? Oh, put it there, here's the line. Air brake. Air brake. Help me. <laughs> Didn't help me. The Aston still won by quite some margin. And the Ferrari lost in a very, very spectacular way. It's almost a car's length ahead of me. In fact, this neatly divides the Aston and the Ferrari. Did all right. I'm not sure what benefit I got from that air brake. I'm pretty convinced it would have looked quite cool as it popped up. So the Ferrari won the drag race, the Aston won the rolling races and the brake test, and this didn't win anything. Though it gets the moral victory, mainly because this engine, when the supercharger is engaged, it's absolutely epic. It ran that Ferrari with its four wheel drive and higher performance figures. This came so close. This is a very special car, and I absolutely love the way the doors open too, like that. Look at that. Brilliant. Love that. Look at that. You can fan yourself. Oh God, it smells of brakes out there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our merch. It's in the carousel below the video.
go get yourself a thing saying drag queen and please follow me on instagram at matt watson cars also don't forget to check out phil over at more than cars his youtube channel in fact if you click on the pop out banner up there you can go check out his channel now and see all his cars he's got that ferrari a lamborghini he's got loads of lovely cars anyway hey enjoy the video see you next time i got skills they're multiplying and i'm losing control no i wasn't losing control i was in control